two moles of an ideal gas is expanded reversibly from 10 atm to 5 atm at 300 kelvin change in internal energy of the process is the options are 0 minus 3.458 kilojoules the next is plus 3.458 kilojoules and the last is minus 6.2 kilojoules students for this question we need to know that delta u is equals to n cv delta t and in this case as the temperature is not changing that means delta t is zero as a result we can say that delta u will also be zero that means the correct answer for this question is option number one moving to next question which is 77 enthalpy of neutralization of NaOH and HCl is minus 57.1 kilojoules per equivalent. If 0.2 mole acid HA on reaction with 0.2 mole NaOH releases 6.2 kilojoules, then enthalpy of ionization of acid HA is the options are 2.61 kilojoules per mole, the next is 26.1 kilojoules per mole. The next is 5.22 kilojoules per mole and the last option is 52.2 kilojoules per mole. Students, in this question we are given that enthalpy of neutralization of a strong acid and a strong base is minus 57.1 kilojoules per equivalent. And we have to calculate the enthalpy of ionization for a weak acid HA. Students, we need to know that enthalpy of ionization is equal to the heat required for ionizing one mole of weak acid completely into its ion. And we know that in this case, a weak acid is HA, which is neutralized by NaOH and the product so formed will be NaA plus H2O. We are given that 0.2 moles of HA when neutralized with 0.2 moles of NaOH 6.2 kilojoules of energy is released. That means 0.2 mole of HA when neutralized by NaOH releases 6.2 kilojoules of energy. Let's see when 1 mole of the same acid is neutralized by the same base, the amount of heat released will be 6.2 upon 0.2 which is equals to 31 kilojoules. So, now we can calculate the enthalpy of ionization. Enthalpy of ionization is equals to 57.1 minus 31. Though because this is the amount of energy released when a weak acid is neutralized by a strong base. And rest of the energy which is expected to release has been used up for the ionization of that acid which is equals to 26.1 kilojoule per mole that means the correct answer for this question is option number two moving to next question which is 78 entropy change in joules per kelvin for the vaporization of 9 gram water at 373 kelvin and 1 atm pressure is given enthalpy of vaporization of water is 40.66 kilojoules per mole the options are 54.5 27.25 the next is 109.2 and the last is 36.33 students we need to know the formula for a change in entropy which is delta s is equals to n into delta h upon absolute temperature we are given with number of moles which is 9 upon 18 ultimately equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by delta H which is 40.66 since the value is in kilojoules we need to multiply it by 1000 upon temperature which is 373 Kelvin which ultimately equal to 54.5 joules per Kelvin that means the correct answer for this question is option number 1 Moving to next question students which is 79. So students let's start with question number 79. Consider the following reaction. Reaction A to B delta H is plus 300 kilojoules. The next is 2B gives 3C plus D and the value of delta H is minus 200 kilojoules. 
the next is e plus c gives 4d and the value of delta h is plus 700 kilojoules delta h in kilojoules for the reaction 2a plus 3e gives 13d will be the options are minus 2000 plus 1200 plus 2500 and minus 2800 student in this question we need to apply his law we have to calculate enthalpy change for our equation 2a plus 3e gives 13d and for this let's see how we can calculate in this first equation we are given with a and here it is 2a so let's multiply this equation by 2 next we are given with 3e that means we have to multiply this equation by 3 and we have 13d in product if from the third equation when we multiply 3 with this 4d we'll get 12d but here we require 13d so we need to add this equation as it is to get one more d in the final equation so this we need to multiply one so let's see what we'll get a gives b and the value of delta h in kilojoules will be 300 but we have to multiply this with 2 2 and 2 the value of delta h will be 600 plus in kilojoules next we have to multiply next equation with 1 so it will become 2 b gives 3 c plus d and the value of delta h will be minus 200 kilojoules next we have to multiply the third equation with 3 so we'll get 3e plus 3c gives 12d and the value of delta h which was initially 700 when multiplied by 3 becomes 2100 let's see what the total reaction is 2a plus 3e gives 13d as these 2b 2b cancel out each other 3c 3c cancel out each other and the resultant equation will be 2a plus 3e gives 13d let's calculate the total delta h which is equals to plus 600 minus 200 plus 2100 which gives a total of plus 2500 kilojoules so students the correct answer for this question is option number three moving to next question which is 80. let's read the question consider the following thermochemical equation x to y and the delta h is minus 100 kilocalorie next is y to z and the value of delta h is plus 120 kilocalorie the correct order of stability of x y z is x more stable than y which is more stable than z the next is y is more stable than x followed by z x more stable than z which is more stable than y y more stable than z which is more stable than x student in this question we can see that when x is converted to y 100 kilocalories of energy is released that means x has more energy than y so here i'm drawing the energy diagram here it is x and here it is y x has 100 kilocalories more than that of y so the gap is 100 kilo calorie let's move to the next equation which is y when converts to z 120 kilocalories is given to the system that means the energy of z is more than that of y and the energy gap is of 120 so when 120 kilocalorie energy is given y changes to z From this energy diagram, we can calculate the correct order of stability as we know that higher is the energy, lesser is the stability. So it is clear that Z because it has the highest energy will be least stable. On the other hand, Y which has the least energy will be most stable. So order of stability, Y is most stable followed by X which is followed by Z. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 
टू मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज एटी वन 